Conspiracy theories. We all have them. Some think that we never went to the moon. Some think that the Earth is flat. I personally think that the Earth is a donut, but that's beside the point. Today, we are going to be going over some Christmas conspiracy theories to celebrate the Christmas season. This is the sixth day of Jnotics, 12 days of Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy. We have this website here that's going over some of the Christmas conspiracies. I have not went over this yet, but just by this thumbnail alone, this is going to be good. Everyone loves a crazy conspiracy theory, and that's why, with Christmas right around the corner, we've got some goodies for you this festive season. But here's a fair warning. Some of these theories might be a tad bit spooky. You may not see Santa in the same light ever again, so read on at your own risk. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention that I am doing a charity live stream on December 26th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., a whole 12 hours EST, so make sure to be there, and uh, let's just get right into it. The first one, Satan or Santa. Santa Claus is actually, wait for it, Satan, yes. Santa, dressed in red clothes, which is a color associated with mayhem and danger, hence gets attributed to Satan. The name Santa itself is also another giveaway, where the letters can be rearranged to say Satan. This conspiracy theory was populated by the conservatives who believe this, that Santa Claus has taken away the true essence of Christmas, which should be focused on the birth of Jesus Christ and not of the capitalist agenda of gifting. Another giveaway is the fact that he flies around the earth on the eve of the birth of Jesus. So as many of you may know already, I am a Christian. So this whole Christmas season, I'm focusing on Christ, you know, the, the whole the whole Christian thing, right? But Santa Claus has always been an important part of my childhood as well. So I don't really see any problem with Santa and Jesus, but nonetheless, it's an interesting conspiracy theory to think about. But looking at the next one, I feel like it might be getting a little bit more dark. Santa was actually a demon who climbed down chimneys and ate children. Yes, he ate kids. According to the legend, it was a saint's intervention that pushed him to mend his ways. So he started leaving presents for kids as a reconciliation for all the kids he ate. I've never heard of Santa eating kids, but I mean, man's gotta eat, right? So, elf on the shelf. They're said to be Santa's eyes and ears, but wait, the theory goes like this. What if the elves are actual surveillance devices for the CIA? The average American household is being monitored for political stances and consumer patterns. So it turns out that Santa is actually eat an evil surveillance machine who thrives on invading personal privacy of homes across the world, spying on children, and endorsing capitalism in a surveillance state. Once again, I've never heard of this. Uh, at our household, our family, we have an elf on the shelf. I mean, look, this might be real. The elf on the shelf might be actually a surveillance device, but it really doesn't matter to me because, I mean, if they're watching us, it's not like they're going to find anything. A Coca-Cola Christmas. Yep, the beverage giant hired a director in its early days to create an ad campaign for the company. This man brought to life the Santa Claus we know with the fat belly, red clothes, rosy cheeks, and white hair. Conservatives have condemned the use of this idea to increase holiday sales. Ever since the Coca-Cola Santa hit the screen, we've been bombarded with advertisements featuring this chunky red man to depict Christmas. Christmas still remains the highest economic rise every year due to the corporate propaganda. Many Christians have started to revolt against this current pagan commercial festival and strongly believe that the unrecorded birth of Christ is not actually on the 25th of December, unlike what is endorsed by companies like Coca-Cola. Now, I actually do agree somewhat with this. Uh, obviously, yes, Coca-Cola did make the Santa Claus that we know today. And I also agree with the fact that Christ was probably not born on the 25th of December. Uh, most likely, he was born like sometime in April, uh, but you know, it really doesn't matter to be honest. You know, as long as we're celebrating it anyway, who really cares? But December 25th, probably not. All right, and that is the last of the Christmas conspiracy theories. Now, I don't really have any. 
Christmas conspiracy theories of my own. But if you guys have any uh, ideas that you've come up with, uh, little, little theories of your own, make sure to leave them in the comments. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am doing the 12 days of Christmas. So right now I need to upload five more videos before I do the live stream on the 12th day. So right now I need five more ideas. And if you have any, make sure to leave those in the comments as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to be there on the 26th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. EST. And uh, like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell because YouTube doesn't recommend my stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.